Hey everybody, Mac to Monster, back with Marvel Heroes, and back with the uh, Black Widow, and we're doing a redo of the Kiss of Death, and is now the Kiss of Death 2015. So, I really like Black Widow, and she's getting to grow on me. I've been doing her melee, and this is another melee build. It's just uh, a switching of a few skills, especially since they've changed how timely the... Uh, death works and uh, I do like the way this is working um, so the build we're gonna have our main dam damage mover deadly blade they switched up how it works and it still does pretty good damage and it deals extra damage to bosses and elites and now it does uh, damage twice a second uh, for three seconds instead of eight seconds which means the damage twice a second has gone up uh, and it's gone up dramatically, so that's a damage boost for us. We got Red Room Reflexes, which is giving us damage and damage rating versus enemies not targeting you. Uh, critical and Brutal Rating and Critical Damage Rating, which is nice. And when you critically hit, you gain Accuracy, which increases your critical hit and critical damage rating, and you restore 6 Spirit. We're going to do 20 points into Silent Killer. 20 points into Red Room Reflexes, if I didn't say it, and 20 points into Deadly Blade. Um, actually, let's skip Silent Killer, I'm sorry. 20 points into Sweep Kick. This is going to give us a nice knockdown, and it's going to do some really good damage and makes enemies vulnerable for 5 seconds, as well as knock them down for 5 seconds, even longer with gear on. We're going to do 20 points into Twilight Cloaking Device. Uh, this they improved. Its duration is now 9 seconds of 40 seconds, which is pretty nice. You do lots of damage. Um, it makes you immune to crowd control, gives you damage rating, crit, critical hit rating, defense rating, and you know you can't be attacked, nothing sees you or anything, so I don't know why you get the defense rating, but I guess for the AoEs, in case you're standing in them, that helps out with that as well. We're going to do 20 points to Stinging Barrage. It gives you a ranged attack ability that hits pretty hard. Uh, should you need it and you have to stay away, it gives you the ability to stay away. 20 points this time into Micro Drones. Uh, this will give you a nice hard hitting uh, skill on a little bit of a cooldown. Uh, really good for single target boss. Uh, if there's any mobs out there though, the damage will get depleted around them. So it's best used against single target boss. Widow's Kiss gives you a ranged dot that will twic tick twice per second. Not only does it give you a ranged dot, but it gives you energy damage as well. It also weakens enemies so they deal 10% less damage for 5 seconds. And it's also some nice damage. And then finally we're going to do the rest of the points that you have into Silent Killer. I have all my points so I pointed out Silent Killer. Well, that's going to let you stealth and give you some attack and movement speed. Uh, so, after using a melee power, also you gain 10% uh, damage negation for 10 seconds. So, it's a nice little skill. So, for gearing on this, I have her full kit. We got Natasha's shield issued gauntlets, it's defense rating damage rating it's got a good chunk of health good chunk of defense crit rating when you stealth gain 589 damage rating versus enemies not targeting you for five seconds four percent chance when you hit with a melee power to electrocute enemies for 5910 damage when your health drops below 30 percent go stealth and summon a shield agent to assist you for 20 seconds on a one minute cooldown uh, and plus six to Black Widow's Spycraft powers. Balanced Reinforced Stilettos. It's got some defense on it. 381 damage rating with melee powers. Uh, some dodge, some movement speed, some health. A uh, thousand health, anyways, in this one. Plus eight to Black Fit Bomb. Who cares? That could so. Uh, it just got plus seven ranks to Sweep Kick. We're using that, so that's pretty awesome. A Caution Advanced Combat Knife, uh, some defense on there, 1400 defense, 280 damage rating on physical attacks. Most of our attacks are physical, by the way. Minus 10% spirit cost for powers, plus one strength, which is pretty good. Again, physical damage. 
A uh, 3% chance when you hit to cause target to bleed for 9,000 damage over 3 seconds. When your health drops below 30%, absorb 1,700 damage on the next attack. Go stealth and gain 108 health regeneration each second for 3 seconds. And plus 5 to all Black Widow's weaponry powers. That's really good. Raiden Tech Shield Prototype Armor. Oh, I should note something. If you don't have the armor I just mentioned, you're going to want a one-point Kevlar reinforced bodysuit. Notice I have nothing in it. That's because I have this armor, which grants Kevlar reinforced bodysuit at rank 32. So if you have this, you don't need to put a point in there. If you don't have it, put a point in it. Uh, but the Raiden Tech Shield Prototype Armor gives you 2300 defense, so it's a big chunk of defense, big chunk of health, 1800. 3% uh, chance on hit to electrocute enemies for 6,000 energy damage. 4% chance when you hit to become invisible for 3 seconds. Grants Kevlar Reinforced Bodysuit at rank 32. That's why there's no need to put a point in there. And plus 4 to all Black Widow's agility powers. And then I have our twin Glock 26 pistols, which has defense on them, which is kind of okay. Uh, 836 damage rating. When you crit, gain eight, 485 physical damage rating and 10.3 attack speed for 5 seconds, which is pretty awesome. These have got 1360 critical damage rating, 1370 brutal damage rating, which is awesome. 4% chance when you hit to cause your target to bleed for 9500 damage, physical damage over 3 seconds. Plus 2 to all powers, plus 7 to red room reflexes, and plus 4 to coup de gras. Uh, now you notice I'm not using coup de gras. It's just another button on the, the bar, and I like to simplify things. And coup de gras just doesn't do the damage that I want it to do to warrant me having to manipulate another finger into the mix. It's just me. You can put coup de, coup de gras in there. You can easily take stinging barrage out of this build and put coup de gras into it. Uh, but then you're going to have four fingers that have to start tapping things or you have to run a gauntlet of uh, tap, 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 tap. So I have Relic Lemuria. I have a River of the Soul and a defensive Uru. She doesn't have a lot of defense. Uh, but we're melee, so I'm using health on the costume. A 3 to 1 core, 3,000 health, uh, 100 spirit on medkit use. Uh, nothing good on else on it, unfortunately. I do have the Power Cosmic on her. We are doing energy and physical, so the Power Cosmic will weigh out, because I'll get 1,500 uh, physical damage off this. I'll get 1,500 energy damage off this. Now, that's just a massive amount of damage. I mean, 1,000 is 25%, so this is going to be 37% right there, plus 2 to all attributes, so it's just a crazy amount of damage. I got a Sydney of Electra, which gives me critical rating and critical damage rating. She gets some good effects off of uh, crits, so beefing up her crit is not a bad move. This has got health and movement speed, so getting her health up there. I got health, dodge, defense, and crit rating again on a cosmic ring. I got my plus three fighting, plus one rank of signature power, plus two base physical damage, plus four percent health pet. And then I got an advanced meta sensory array. Because we're not spirit intensive, that is a basic attack that we're, we're using. Attack speed is non worry. We can go at all attack speed we want. Advanced Crimson Crystal of Cideric, of course, is very good. Uh, health, damage rating to physical attacks, and a 2% chance to come invulnerable for 4 seconds is always nice. Sabertooth Medallion, everything's bleeding, so we'll have a 10% chance to cause a bleed, physical defense, health, uh, some health regen, and 400 damage rating versus things bleeding. And we have plus two to all powers. Advanced Kung Fu training sequence will get us some more defense and put our defense more in the area where we want it. Actually, 900 defense rating, they upped that. That's interesting. Uh, and 359 defense rating with melee powers. And because we have that Widow's Kiss, we're getting that range tick. Uh, this attack speed is 2.8, so not every hit will get this buff, but most hits will. You know, two out of three hits will get a good buff. And that's it.
So we'll go take out a Cosmic Dr. Octopus. And there's no buff to activate. I set up my bar so I have Deadly Blade as my main main attack. I have Sweep Kick, Widow's Kiss, Microdone set up to be my quick attacks, and then Twilight Cloak and a device for when I need need it basically. I guess we'll start heading back towards the boss. As you can see, I mean, you can stealth everywhere you want to go. Do anything you want to do. Well, one of the bosses is spawning. Twenty-four is good enough. The boss will count as a kill.
Yeah, it was that easy. Oh, Cosmic Dr. Octopus Metal. Much easier against bosses and trash, as you gotta kinda pick apart the trash, but no huge AoEs. The sweep kick is actually pretty decent. It's pretty hard. Widow's Kiss and Deadly Blade are pretty good dots. So, that's the Kiss of Death 2015. Hope I helped. Hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to everybody real soon.